I ended up picking myself up a um, Zoom F4. And that's what you're hearing me talking on right now. And I got some cables coming in tomorrow. They didn't come in today. So I'm going to have to try and sync this up in my video editor. This thing's really cool. I mean, I've only had it out for maybe an hour. I've been playing around with it. And you're actually, the, the voice you're hearing right now is coming off of this. And this uh, microphone here that I got plugged into it. Now, I looked around, I was thinking about the F8, F8N, I think it's called, it's about $1,000 compared to this one, it's like double the price, but it was more than I needed. So why did I want this? Well, I've got this idea going around in my head here where this is going to sit on top of my tripod and then my camera is going to sit up here, okay? And then what's going to happen is I'm going to have a microphone coming out of one jack and another microphone coming out of another jack and maybe even a third one but definitely two because I got the microphones here and they're going to come out of there and I'm going to set them up so my plan is is that once I'm sitting in my blind and let's say I'm waiting for a groundhog to come out and I want to record that groundhog eating I want to record him hopping I really want to have those sounds so that's what this is for. Now, I picked up these, and I'm not sure how they're gonna work, but I got such a good deal on them, I really couldn't turn it away. Apparently, with B&H, I had like the $60 credit or whatever I didn't even know about, and B&H actually sent me a message saying, you still got this credit, you should use it. I was like, oh man, I better go use that. So I picked up these uh, Studio Condenser microphones, and that would be these here. And this is a B Ringer C2. It comes with the foam things that go on the end. And, and they're pretty small, they're not bad. And it came with two of them. I think it was like, I think these were like 140 bucks or something. But I thought, wow, that's gonna work. And I got two of them. So, Connected to a long cable, and I did pick up some cabling, some XLR cabling. I picked up 25 feet and 10 feet, which will connect into here. So I'm going to be sitting in my blind. My 25 foot of XLR cable is going to connect in the side here, as you can see. And then it's going to run out. Now I'm going to guess where the groundhog is going to come out. So I'll set up one mic, maybe go down a couple feet, set up another mic. And maybe even go a little bit more and set up another mic. I don't have a third mic yet. So one mic is going to be used when I'm talking. The other three are for going to be for recording. And like I said, the camera will sit on top. And I'll be able to check my levels, add more gain, whatever. And then not only will I have really cool video of the animal, but I'm going to have great audio. It weighs... I don't know, maybe about two pounds is what it weighs. And the sound you're hearing is everything coming out of this F4 right now with my Canon 80D. And tomorrow, tomorrow my cords come in where I can actually run a cord from, where is it here? I can run a cord from the sub out over to my camera. Or if the camera's on top, I can run it out into the microphone section. So I'll feed my sound from here into my camera. And there's an option here on this particular F4 zoom that you just click the um, sub button and then you can start adjusting your levels, which is really quick to be in there, which is cool. Now, a lot of people, what they'll do is a lot of people run like one of these, okay? And then you'll connect to it and then connect this to your mic inside the actual camera. The problem is you'll end up with a lot of noise. Now you can buy a cable, I think they're about 32 bucks where they're actually thicker and it'll help with that. But with me, because I've got the F4 over here, 
I don't have to do that. Any regular cable will do. So I can run a cable, I can adjust my levels, and it just gives me a whole lot more control, which is really cool. But this thing is built really, really well. And I think this is what I'm going to be using for now on for my sound, for everything I do. It's just more weight I'm going to be carrying in my backpack for sure. Anyhow, just a little update on what's been going on. And uh, just been working a lot. And uh, here in Tennessee, all it's done is rain. Rain, 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 rain. I mean, for the last month and a half, that's all it's done is rain. We've got flooding everywhere. I'm very lucky. I live on a hill, mountain, whatever you want to call it. And it doesn't affect me whatsoever. But there's a lot of my neighbors that have been flooded. I mean, literally, house is gone. I see them on um, Facebook and they're saying, oh, I can finally see my roof. And it's horrible. They have to start all over. It really is. So I'm really lucky that I ended up buying a house that was on a hill. For me to get flooded, my town would be gone. I'd be the last guy to get flooded. So that was pretty good. But there hasn't been much to get out in. I mean, the, the, there hasn't been any sun. I mean, that's all it's done is rain. I, I feel like I was ready to build an ark just to get out of here. It's ridiculous how much rain we've gotten. And even when we had a couple nice days, I ended up having to work so I couldn't even get out with my camera and even take any pictures. So hopefully... In a couple weeks, spring's going to be here, and I think it comes in 10 days, I think is when spring gets here. So hopefully when spring gets here, and uh, the hummingbirds come back and all that good stuff, hopefully the weather gets better and uh, I can get out more. At any rate, I'll be uh, checking more out with this Zoom F4 and seeing how I like it and how I'm going to put it together. But so far, since I've been playing with it, oh, I really, really like it. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.